robots in the US, you usually think of the automotive industry. 65% of all robots are sold into automotive. And the two things that they're doing most frequently are either welding something or painting something. They're unsafe, very expensive. They take hours to program. Guys like Sawyer and Baxter, his bigger brother, are a lot more like, a lot more like Rosie. Uh, from the Jetsons, remember Rosie? Mm -hmm. um, so the idea that you have this robot that you engage with in more personable kinds of ways, that you show them how to do things rather than program them, that are safe to be around, that are inexpensive. So we've got this whole new set of robots um, that generally these kinds of robots are called collaborative because they are robots that people can be around. And um, they can do things that couldn't be done before. I think that's really the, the biggest driver. There was a study done by um, BCG about a year ago that said uh, they looked at all of the tasks that are in all of our manufacturing operations, and they said 90% of them can't get done with robots as they existed. Um, and so we really looked at it and said, well, as an industry, we've really let down manufacturers. If there's a bunch of jobs, I, I put it into three categories. I think about there's jobs that a regular robot that could do, um, and they do them really well, and they'll continue to do them. Then there's robots that people are and always will be really good at. Um, things that require high levels of dexterity, high levels of cognition, high levels of judgment. Um, and then there's the third category, and we all know we've got them, because when I walk around your plants, it's the band or the woman that's not smiling. Right? It's the one that's just taking the plastic injection molded parts off the conveyor, counting them, maybe they're doing a cursory inspection and putting it into a box. Those are the kinds of, the only reason the person is doing that job is because the robot couldn't. So now that we have robots like these guys, we have uh, the ability to put them in positions that we never could do before. So we're gonna see a tremendous um, uh, increase in the number of robots that are in all of our factories over the next you know, decade or so.